Okay, the governor threatened to cut funding to cities who aren't doing enough to address homelessness. So is this a result? More uprooting of unhoused people across the Bay Area this weekend? Well, tonight, people living in RVs in San Jose and San Francisco are once again looking for new places to live. NBC Bay Area's Marianne Favreau reports. This photo shows a long row of RVs parked on Sierra Road near Lundy Avenue in San Jose. But today, the street looks much different. After vehicles were towed and owners told to leave, only two RVs remain. We talked with the man who owns one of them. He asked us not to identify him and said after living here a year, yesterday, city officials told him he had an hour to move. While his RV hasn't been towed yet, he expects it will be any day. It's a big impact because I, I, I now, I mean, if, if they were to take my vehicles, like where do I, where, where I go to sleep? Oh, I don't got no money for no motel. Neighbors say for months they've complained to the city about trash, noise, and other problems associated with the RVs parked on the street. There's always some like a door open, there's trash, there are people sitting on the curb. Now they are camping into, into our property, putting up tents, leaving their waste. We reached out to the mayor's office and police department to find out why the city decided to force the RVs parked on Sierra Road to leave, but have not yet received a response. In San Francisco, a similar issue, as the city ordered people living in more than a dozen RVs parked on Zoo Road to leave. Public Works posted a sign with a Wednesday deadline for getting out. The RVs are parked near the Pomeroy Center for Disabled Seniors and Children. Some say they ended up parking here after they were kicked out from parking on Winston Street. Now they're being forced to move again. In a statement, Mayor London Breed says the city has reached out to people who live on Zoo Road to offer them support, housing, and shelter, while also enforcing parking laws. The city is studying alternatives. Marianne Favreau, NBC Bay Area News.